Congratulations and welcome to the COVID-19 interview series. Can you start off by telling me how you identify? All right, thank you. Thank you for having me. My name is Garrison. I'm 20 years old and I'm black. I'm happy to be here today to, uh, to share and also learn from the program. So um, with that, uh, you can go on. Sorry. Okay, can you tell me a little bit about your general COVID-19 experience? All right, all right, thank you. Like before the COVID 19, um, I, I do run a coffee shop with my mom. And I do go sell for her and just go out, uh, making a lot from it. And that's basically what I do. I go. So um, I had this friend, his name is Fred. We went on a holiday with his family and everybody did that. And when he came back, he had dinner with us that, uh, that he, um, I was noticing he was slaving and it was so unusual. Um, I, I tried to um, ask him what was going on. He said he had to be uh, uh, was that severe. My mom also noticed that she insists, she said she, she didn't want to be mean, but um, she insists that after the meal, Fred had to go back to the house and probably see the doctor and talk to the parents about him. I was um, I was the one that was closest to him. Uh, that that evening, I I saw him out and scores before he left. So about a day or two, I I started um, experiencing this um, sudden dryness in my throat, like. No matter what I take, no matter the, um, the amount of liquid that I take, it's, it will still be feeling as if um, my throat is still dry. Um, I, I was having this um, sort of fever and headache. Um, I told my mom that day I could not go to the public shop. I told my mom to go to the um, local clinic. And they did, they did um, run some tests there. They got my blood sample, but they saw. They said they didn't see anything that uh, was clear, and um, that it was um, my platelet that was high. Um, as of then, it was up to um, 150. So I was surprised. So we, I, I was discharged and went back to the house. We stayed four days. I was still experiencing this uh, hotness, this um, headache. I could not breathe freely because as if it's um, my, my lung it was massive. I was having difficulty in breathing. I was having short, short breathing. It stayed for almost a week. And I was taken to the healthcare again, to the health center closest to us. Uh, they did some tests. They said I, I have to stay for three days. I stayed. I could not go to shop. To the shop, to my mom's shop. I could not go to anywhere. My friends stopped seeing me. Um, I was isolated from everybody. And there was um, there was a time uh, a news reached us that my friend Fred had COVID-19, and he had already uh, shared the virus to two of the siblings. So I started noticing that I started uh, experiencing mine, and I thought that. It could be COVID-19. COVID so my mom advised me that uh, we need to see the family doctor since um, there was no results proven by the health, uh, health center that we visited. We called our family doctor and he went to his own clinic. He ran some tests and said uh, the virus that he could not see anything that it be on my blood that possibly the virus. So that was how I was taken to uh, the hospital. I stayed for for almost two weeks. My mom, I, I didn't see my mom throughout the period. Um, I was just with um, the healthcare providers, the nurse and the, the doctors. And they actually told me that the vaccine that I, I would take that it's not going to cure the uh, COVID-19, but it's going to stop the spread. 
So I took it and it was actually two dose. I, am, I have I had to take the first dose and wait for three weeks before taking the first dose. So that was how it went. And gradually, after about a month, I started recovering. Uh, but I could no longer do the normal things that I used to do. I could no longer go out. I was still having this psychological trauma. I was still having this nervousness. I could not talk to anyone. I was social distancing myself from everyone. Even my mom got to the point where I could not uh, come that close to her again. I was like, I was afraid of every, everyone. It stayed till um, about three months after that incident. My mom advised me that since I can't go out, I should take the course. So I went on um, Alison. I don't know if you know that um, that page. I took a course on graphic design, and I started doing something online. And I met a friend that introduced me to Amazon. I can actually do my my designs and sample on Amazon and get paid. And since then, that that was that's that has been what I've been throughout. Um, I just picked stuff online and it has been up to a year and now that's what I've been doing. Basically, that's my occupation. Uh, I don't go out that often, but now I think um, I'm not that uh, traumatized. Uh, I can interact with people, though sometimes I do have that um, symptoms, that severe headache, that, um, that fatigue, but it doesn't come that often. And since then, I've, I've done the test like two times and that train negative, negative. So I think it's good now. Okay, thank you. Can you speak more about being diagnosed and what the experience with doctors were like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it was only the, um, the medical practitioners that were close to me enough. Um, others were very far from me. I was isolated for like two weeks. I stayed, I, I could not go close contact with anyone. Uh, and the dose, the vaccine that they said they'll, they'll give me was for a space of about six weeks. I have to take first dose for like three weeks. Other dose, I have to skip three, after three weeks before I take, I'll take the other dose. And since I started taking the vaccine, I, I've seen, I, I started seeing improvement. Um, when I was taken to that uh, health center, they did so many tests on my blood, my pee, my, my saliva, and it was still showing nothing. They could not see anything. I think they were checking my blood and they didn't see the virus. But since, I, 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 since when they took me to the hospital, I was isolated from everybody. They gave me the vaccine. I started seeing improvements in my health. Did you ever feel you were discriminated against when you were trying to get assistance with getting better or anything? I, I, didn't, get, I didn't get that. Did you feel at any time that you were discriminated against while you were seeking help? Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Not what I meant. Um, the, the, nurse there, uh, the nurse and the doctors there were actually professionals. They knew when it was time to um, come check up on me, giving my normal medications. And after that, after then, I, I wasn't given access to um, interact with uh, other people. So I was just uh, indoors with other um, patients in the hospital. So um, I think they, they, they did their, their best and it was um, professional. Okay, finally, what would you say to people who think that COVID-19 is not real? It's, it's real. I, I used to think it's not real. Um, once it happened, uh, I used to watch it on the telly. I, I, I told my mom that I don't think this is real. I don't, I don't think this virus is actually real. Like, how can we just get this and start spreading? Where did the virus came from? I, I used to say it was not real. But um, even when Fred came to the house, my mom was telling me, are you sure this guy has not got something? I, I was telling her there's nothing like that, there's nothing like that. Till after um, 
couple of days, I went to two days and I started experiencing symptoms and, and I, I was taken to the hospital and all that um, experience that I had. And I, even when I was sick, at first I, I didn't believe it was good. I was thinking it's some kind of fever, malaria, symptoms, or stress. I didn't, I didn't know it was COVID till I was uh, diagnosed, diagnosed and, and, and found out that I was positive with virus. So um, COVID-19 is real, it's real. What advice would you give to people now that you've experienced all that you have? Yeah, uh, whenever you have these symptoms, when, whenever you feel this, whenever you feel uh, feverish, whenever you, you have this shortness in breathing, uh, it's advisable that you try and see the doctor, try and get tested, and if you're tested, and find out that you're positive. Uh, it's, it's cool, it's cool, it's, it's, not, it's not that bad. You can start with your vaccine, and get vaccinated and and safe isolate yourself from people for a while get um, um, the needed medical services that you, you need for uh, about a month or two and, and when you when you get back from um, when you're on recovery it's, it's advisable that you have to wash your health know what you, you do seek advice from the doctors and nurses the medical professional generally Okay, thank you. Is there anything else you would like to add that I haven't asked you already? Mm, um, I think um, the experience I've, I've, I've had about um, COVID-19 has really uh, opened me to other opportunities like now I'm, I'm a graphic designer and, and basically before uh, COVID-19, I, I used to work with my mom and I thought uh, my career was... Uh, build around a shop I, I was just going to stay there and live and um, have my own shop and stuff like that but um, ever since i, I had the, the virus and i came back i could not do anything i, I was just in the playing video games and um, i hit my mom's advice when she told me i have to go learn something and build a career for myself have a skill i took courses uh, and now um, that's been my career it has been my job that's what i do um, and I've been having a lot from it. So I think the experience I've opened my eyes to other opportunities. So I think uh, the experience was was too. Thank you. All right, thank you.